Question number three, Joe Goodhue. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question to the order, order. Members will show some courtesy to the My question member to seeking the to ask a question. Of energy and resources. What steps is he taking to ensure that electricity is produced and delivered to all classes of consumers in an efficient, fair, reliable and environmentally sustainable manner? The Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Mr Speaker, uh, this morning I announced a ministerial review of electricity market performance. Uh, the government is very concerned, as are consumers, at the affordability of electricity, security of supply and regulatory governance arrangements within the sector. A number of reports into these matters are or have been carried out by various agencies, and it makes sense to draw these threads into one body of work. The purpose of the review will be to improve the performance of the electricity market and its government arrangements in order to better achieve the government's objectives of the electricity sector. It's interesting to note that the essence of the question asked by the member is contained in the Electricity Act uh, from some time back, but apparently had no relevance to the previous government for some nine years, where they allowed the retail price of electricity to rise by some 72 per cent against just a 28 per cent CPI increase. That, sir, is why something has to be done and why we are doing it. Point of order, the Honourable Darren Hughes. We are very surprised that the length of the Minister's answer was able to uh, be. The House was subjected to an answer quite that long from the Minister. It was clearly uh, getting into the category of a speech rather than a succinct answer. And I thought if uh, short answers, short questions were given, short answers were going to be expected. Order! Order! So I hear the member's point, and, and I would ask ministers. I think answers have been excessively long today. It is April Fool's Day, I guess. And. Uh, and uh, and I, uh, only till midday. Okay, so the, uh, so that is no excuse. So I would ask, I would ask, order. I'd ask our members to, to please just, uh, you know, ease back a little bit because it is getting very hard to hear. I mean, I like. There's nothing wrong with the house being robust and. And the issues have been raised in question time today are issues where opinions are held passionately and, and the question time has been robust. There's no problem in that. But it is getting quite hard to hear and answers are too long. Joe Goodhue. Thank you, Mr Speaker. How will the ministerial review be carried out? The Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Mr. Speaker. Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Mr Speaker, I have appointed a technical advisory team of independent experts to work alongside a project team of officials from the Ministry of Economic Development and Treasury. They will carry out much of the work but report to me. The work will be preceded in two phases. The first phase will look at regulatory and governance arrangements and the second phase will take a broader look at the operation of the electricity market. Jeanette Fitzsimons. <coughs> Is the Minister concerned? That the $74 million that Genesis has spent on planning for the Rodney gas-fired power station, which even it admits will probably never be built, actually represents more than two and a half cents a kilowatt hour for all the electricity it sells, which is four times its recent price increase. And when will he tell them to stop putting up power prices to pay for a white elephant? The Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Uh, Mr Speaker, uh, to the member. Uh, the decisions around uh, Genesis's proposals are operational matters and not for any minister. But what I would say is that the decision to even consider it indicates why we desperately need to have a look at the review of governance arrangements inside the marketing of electricity in this country. Joe Goodhue. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the minister, what else is the government doing to improve the delivery of electricity to consumers? The Honourable Jerry Mr. Speaker, Brownlee. Mr Speaker, the Government's published a new draft Government policy statement on electricity governance, which proposes streamlining uh, and simplified processes for transmission investments under $20 million. The current processes can involve lengthy duplication in engineering and systems planning. The consultation on the policy statement has now finished, and the Government will shortly be announcing the new GPS. Charles Chevelle. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. Which of the following measures taken already by his government 
will contribute most effectively to the energy goals outlined by the primary questioner. Throwing climate change policy into confusion by setting up a select committee on whether to retain the ETS this is already in force, getting rid of the biofuels obligation, legislating in a way that leads directly to the consenting of a gas-fired power station that has no forward contract for gas supplies, having a Prime Minister who con continues to leave open the science on climate change, calling in SOE chairs to the Beehive to demand higher dividends, or referring to a project to paint power pylons as, quote, a major upgrade to the national grid. End quote. The Honourable Drew Brown. Speaker, Mr Speaker, I don't know how that member can believe that anyone could separate out any one thing that needs to be done to sort out the enormous mess they left behind. What consumers know is that a 72 per cent price rise for electricity for a, retail, a residential consumer against 29 per cent CPI over the same period is an utter disgrace and he should not be asking any question. He should simply be listening and learning. Question.